sorry. Um, yeah, this look. It almost looks like this could almost look in, imply like giving way to like another uh, tunnel backwards. So I think I'm gonna go with this. Uh, and at that at this point, so oh yeah, I was gonna do another like uh, stacks type stone looking thing here, and then this now can resolve. <laughs> And, uh, uh, yes, yes, <laughs> Mitsuki, how's it going? <laughs> I, um, I've been looking up images of Earth Caves because, I frankly, I've forgotten what they're like. Uh, and so you'll probably notice that most of these caves, uh, are pretty, pretty astral in, in, uh, their general aesthetic. Uh, but that's, you know, you gotta, you gotta work with what you have, right? So, that's what I got, and that's what I'm, what's, what I'm, what I'm going with. Uh, so, uh, what is happening here? This is supposed to be, that one, this is supposed to be on this one, so, what do we got? Is that, I guess, uh, I wanna do more shading as such. I guess that kind of puts it in the background. Uh, and then I'll just like, I don't know, this can like taper off, I guess. Not like that. Uh, oops. Uh, oops. <laughs> Alright, uh, oops. <laughs> The little ones are sometimes hard to render. All right, uh, and then uh, and then behind this, I guess, will be maybe like a little bit more of a like a structurey type, stony, whatever. No, that didn't look right. Uh, so maybe like maybe like not like super high or super far, but like uh, and then do these 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 aren't even like really rendering as rocks. I think I need to like add the. Uh, at this like dimensional qu whoa what just happened what oh the magnifying how did i how did i get switched to the magnifying glass tool that was weird uh <laughs> anyways uh yeah uh wait no undo draw tool okay <laughs> thanks magnifying glass that was not especially helpful uh all right so so yeah, more of these deadlines. I, all right, I think if I can consider myself like kind of in the, getting the hang of it, getting the hang of this now, one thing I really need to do is not uh, take like a million years to do this <laughs> because uh, this, like this, these, uh, these backgrounds that I'm doing right now are going to be so not like prominently visible that like it really does not make sense to <laughs> spend time on that. Like, barely at all, so I really shouldn't be doing that. So if I can get the gist, I should start just, like, banging it out. Um, Alright, yeah, so what I was going to do here kind of is uh, the eraser tool kind of come in and, like, give, like, kind of a lot of visibility here. Maybe, yeah, maybe even off to the top. Just, like, not not, not like, introduce a roof area at first. Oh, I'm, I'm lapping around. All right, well, this will be an easy way to do the seam. <laughs> I'll just leave the seam completely open, and then I'll justify it again on the other side. Oh, uh, I guess it won't be completely open, because I do have to do the floor. Uh, so... I, uh, I won't worry about that right now. Well, actually, yeah, I won't, I won't worry about that right now. I can figure out the floor later, because that's not actually where the seam is going to be. Uh, yeah, that's not where the seam is going to be. So, so actually, I should I should have started working in the other direction. Um, so whatever, I'll, I'll just come back to this later, I guess. 
Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> let's go in the other direction. So what what is happening off in this other direction? Uh, well, for one thing, we we're finishing this uh, cave a little bit better than we had been just there. Uh, let's, for example, actually add in like some reasonable looking shapes here. Uh, Uh, reasonable, I said. <laughs> reasonable. Reasonable enough. Actually, I guess I can, I can get rid of a little bit more of this. Because, like, this is supposed to be more flat at this point. It's supposed to have, like, evened out a little more, so... We can, like, yeah. I don't know, whatever. It's good enough. Uh, and this as well. Like, it's not going to be, like, super bright, but... We don't have to make it as dark as that, so... Uh... <laughs> I basically just redrew the things I just erased. Uh, so yeah, what are we... What are we putting here? I guess we can do more rock pile, I guess. <laughs> rock pile is just gonna be, like, my default thing. I don't know what else to do. Because, uh... I don't know. Rock pile. Rock pile everywhere. So like I said earlier, if you don't know what to do, just put a stone in front of it. is my approach here. Uh, uh, <laughs> Alright, now I should, I should redo this, now that I know, like, I have a sense of what I'm doing here. And I should have a plan for what I'm doing over here, too. Uh, I could, we're like the other, I had, like, variety in the top layer. Which type of variety do I have? I had like rock piles, like like rock small rock piles, I had big rock piles, I had like slab work, uh like with indents and stuff, and just like I had like a some striated walls, like a little bit of striated walls, not much. So I could, I should I guess I should do like a striated wall, probably. And then uh And then, uh, yeah, just kind of mix and match those various tools that I have for cave building. Uh, Alright, so, uh, so yeah, this will be, this will be, yeah, this, 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 I'll just do like a few, a few rocks here. It won't be too many. Uh, just, just like some fallen ones. Um. Actually, no, you know what? I could do... I could do, like, a flatter area. This, I don't have to do stones, like, covering this whole front area all the time. I could do some part where it's, like, more open-ish. I could do that. Uh, like, I'm kind of doing it here, kind of. Or I'm not, and I'm, I just haven't finished what I'm actually doing here yet. Um, either way, though, actually, uh, before I abandon this part completely, I should, I should like texture these stones slightly, at least. Oops. And uh, actually, I think I might do more rock pile here. Like some big rock pile too. Uh, and then uh and some more just kinda like just hanging out, you know. Just piling just some piles of rocks. And then, whoops, no, I did not mean to do that. Uh, and then, uh, I'm running out of things to say again, because I don't know what to say when I'm 
<laughs> just like <laughs> filling in stuff. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, sure am doing stuff right about now. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, stuff is happening. Stuff is happening, things are getting accomplished. All that good stuff. All that stuff you... All, all, those, all those wonderful parts of game development, as we know it. Uh, Alright, so... I'm just putting rocks everywhere. This, this strategy is going to run out really fast, like it's going to become really obvious really fast, like what what exactly I'm doing and then I'm going to have to come up with something really elaborate for for uh, <laughs> for the rest of the uh, for the rest of this stuff here um, alright, so uh, yeah, what did I say I was going to go on? yeah, I was going to say, oh, so I was going to do some more striated walls oh I don't have like a dark upper layer, which I kind of should have, I think, at least for most of it, right? I feel like I should, I used to, I mean I don't have to like, like how would the, is the dark upper layer important? Maybe it's not, maybe the dark upper layer is not important anymore. Oh well I guess this wouldn't be the place to test it. Uh, Uh, I think I'm going to put it in for just for starters, just as like a reminder, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. We had it before because, uh, well, I'm going to put it in here. Uh, we had it before because, uh, because the the front of the cave is supposed to be like rounded kind of like it's supposed to like curve forwards a little bit that's why we had it there so we don't have to have it here because we don't have to uh, we don't have to follow that same sort of curvature in fact we're not going to follow that same sort of curvature uh, so yeah but I am going to put it here because I want to just fill that in this is supposed to be like darkness in the background. Maybe I'll put like a small stone here. And there. Then no, that's fine. Alright, good. Good, good. Uh, Alright. Uh, what is this all? Just kind of like... Oh, I guess I could do like a... I could do like a square stone... Oops. I uh, don't I could do like a square stone piece here. Like a, a more like a forward piece like maybe like fell like fell forwards collapsed forwards at some point uh, and then uh, I could like I don't know maybe like this side is like more towards the darker side. <laughs> that doesn't look right. Uh, to me, this side isn't completely dark like that. Maybe it's just like... Uh, <laughs> Wait, <laughs> let me try that again. Um, uh, I think I need a finer... Uh, brush for what I'm trying to accomplish. No, is this? No, I think this might be just a flawed concept. Uh, <laughs> How would I shade this? Oh, I could just. Uh, well, yeah. If I want to do that, I could just like do it like this instead. Like, uh, not quite. Not like. Uh, like those other lines exactly, but like, like that, and then I could even, 
I'm gonna do it this way as well. Yeah, all right, that's probably better. I guess, I don't know, at least it at least conveys the shape that I was imagining. And like, there's gonna be kind of a weird sense of, uh, I'm, in I'm kind of intending for there to be a weird sense of um, depth here, like a weird sense of like form, um, almost like, not like cubist, but like, um, like just uh, implying a strange, so like almost, it's supposed to be, feel a little like tilted and like um, off balance because um, this is like, you're, you're, you're crawling through a cave and you're like peering down these, uh, these like dark crevasses or whatever. And, uh, and this is like what you find there. So again, I shouldn't continue any further in this direction because who knows, I might have to redo a bunch of this stuff. No, I won't have to redo it. Uh, yeah, I really don't want it. All right. <laughs> I should have thought of this in advance, but, um, no, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to just shift the layer a little bit. So, uh, Oh shoot, but the layers are separate, so that's awkward. It's so, like I would have to count out the pixels or something. Uh, Cause like the top layer doesn't move with the bottom layer. I guess I could just eyeball it, right? Eyeballing it wouldn't be too hard. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not like I've created a masterpiece yet. Yet, <laughs> as if I will. Uh, Alright. And so then, I basically just want to do the same thing here. Uh... Do -ba Hey, Conflay Two. What is this? I um. I'm happy to repost links if you uh, if you have something interesting to share. And I'm looking at it on my other computer. It does look interesting, but if you'd like to give us a little more context than just the link itself, then uh, that would help us uh, understand what what it is that we're looking at. So, uh, hey, uh, come feel. Yep. How's it going? Uh, please stop. Okay. Please stop posting the link because other people can't see it. Um, in fact, I am not enthusiastic about your contribution so far. So I think I might purge them, but if you'd like to, like a, a good way to present this information would be to say something like, hey, I made a game. Uh, like, I don't know. I'm not going to like tell you what to say, but like, please don't just like pop in, drop links and like, okay. Uh, anyways. <laughs> all right. Is this lined up? Uh, I think it was probably like this. Thereabouts. Uh, all right. So I just want to buy some space. Do I want to buy more space than that? Uh, yes, maybe. This might be like the big opening of this layer. Like this might be the, the, no, I shouldn't have a big opening on this layer because I'm not doing anything interesting in the background. So yeah, this should be enough space. Uh, and I'm just going to, uh, Uh, paste this here just so I have our guidelines and I can start chewing away at it like I had been doing before all right uh, so deselect so yeah what is going to be the other side here I guess like I guess it doesn't have to uh, yeah you know what I which doesn't have to go very far at all what if um what if we just uh like what if there was immediately like more stone slab work like just leaning in another direction, kind of. Like I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Like 
I mean, some of this, this stonework looks so, like, regimented that, like, am I implying that, like, something lived down here? Like, there's, am I implying that this, these are actually, like, the ruins of, like, no, not save. Control Z and Control S are very close to each other. <laughs> um, uh, I don't, I don't know. I might be implying that, I guess. It's possible that I'm unintentionally implying the presence of, like, a civilization in these caves. And I guess, I don't know. It's like caves... Whatever. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to think too long or hard about that. It's probably fine either way. Um, uh, so, oh, yeah, right. So, let's go back up here. Pick up this color. And, uh... So I think I'm not going to really do much on the ground here, except I'm probably going to put one of those, like, big, streaky, like, just whatevers. Like, just to imply that, like, there is texture to the ground. Although I'm not going to, like, say exactly what is up with the ground texture. Maybe. Oh, yeah, no, if it was like this, it would be... Oh, actually, yeah, if it was on the ground, or if it was, like, laying flat, it would be more like, like this hook shape. Uh... Confield, you never told us what your game was about. Uh, actually, you're probably not even here anymore. You probably went off to other chat channels to just bomb in and drop your link. But I was serious. If you if you care to like give some context to like the link that you're trying to post, I'm happy to reshare it. I still have it open on my other monitor. Um, it's like a Ludum Dare game apparently, but uh, we might never know. Uh, I, in fact, encourage people to share, like, cool stuff that they work on or are working on or have worked on or whatever. I just, like, I don't know. That felt more like a drive-by than, like, a, uh, a conversation starter, <laughs> which is why I shut it down. Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, right. I didn't get the sense that he wanted to, like, you know, ha like, share it with us, per se. I got the sense that he just wanted us to see it, and he wanted to go off and do his own thing. What if? <laughs> Are there actually... Oh, no. No, I always... <laughs> Thanks for that, your fan. You know, uh, fun fact... Did you know that in Hawaii they actually have a festival dedicated to spam? Except it's not um it's not the digital kind. It's the it's like the the actual like meat product kind of spam. They uh apparently are big fans of it, uh and cannot get enough. Or no, they can get enough, but they but they still have a uh Hey that you're in, how's it going? Uh they can get so much spam that they have like an entire entire uh i think it's like i want to say it's like no i might be making this up i want to say it was like a week-long festival but I, that might that might not be true uh um <laughs> yeah i um I, I I don't know if I've actually ever had spam is the thing. So like I like I understand what it is in concept, which is enough for me to be like, okay, no thank you. But um I don't know, I guess it's like it's not really any worse than like hot dogs or anything like that. So I don't know. What am I what the heck am I doing? <laughs> Ridiculousness is what I'm doing. In case anyone was curious. Uh, no, what I'm trying to do is, uh, uh, no, I guess that was kind of right. It's just, uh, it's just way too low, I think is the problem. Uh, this is supposed to imply, like, a greater s sense, so let's, uh, let's bring these up a bit. Uh, and then I guess the other one will be more like... Uh, I'm 
I'm doing nothing where I stop talking because I'm working on art. Whoops. These look like, uh, I don't know. These look weird. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess clearly there was a civilization down here because these don't look natural. These like stone slabs. They look, they look man-made or something. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, hmm. Yeah, what sort of livestock do they have on the island? Because I guess if, uh, I guess, you know, like, I mean, I'm sure they have plenty of seafood <laughs> out there, but, like, in terms of, like, other, um, in terms of other proteins, like, unless they raise it on the island, it probably would be difficult to get it out there, and then, um, and then, uh, yeah, so something like spam, which is really easy to transport. I guess it would make sense why, why that would become popular. Uh, what am I doing with my life? Yeah, I don't think that one's necessary. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's helping. I guess is what I mean to say. Oh, I know what I can do. I can do. Uh, I can do like this. Nope, that one's not helping either. Whatever, that one's fine. Just the one. Uh, anyways. Oh, uh, yeah? Whatever. Uh. Oh, yeah, I should, uh, I should thicken up this line. And, uh, I mean, I should thicken this line overall, but... I should also, oops, uh, what, <laughs> why am I so bad at that? So bad at hitting control Z. Considering how many, how often I do it, you'd think I'd get pretty good at it, but no. Still really bad at hitting control Z and not control S. I guess I hit control S a lot too, so maybe my muscle memory is like taking over. Hey, TD Game Dev, how's it going? Welcome. Uh... I, uh, I mean, if you, if anyone's followed, uh, the, the game development channel on Twitch, you probably already know that T 2D Game Dev, and actually you could probably even just guess by, uh, by his name, is also a game dev, <laughs> who, uh, who's a pretty interesting stream, so, uh, oh yeah, so, uh, it's not up and running yet, but it's, uh, if you ch if like the so the thing going on in the bottom of the corner there, uh, whoops, uh, <laughs> screwing up my camera. Um, yeah, th so there's another chat channel. Like it, eventually, I'm planning on bringing it over into this chat channel. But um, the uh, where's my cursor? Uh, the but currently it's uh, it's like really spammy and um, it's still like where's oh I left my stylus on my tablet and it was overriding my cursor. All right, sorry. <laughs> it's really. Um, yeah, so the, uh, so it's, so there's like, uh, the, so there's like this event system and it's like, whoops, I hit the wrong button. Where am I actually trying to go? Yeah, so, uh, so, sorry, uh, in this other chat channel, which I will link in chat, uh, promptly. In fact, you'll see it in chat before you see it here because it streams like. Uh, so in this channel, there's, um, this is where, like, the, the game is, like, playing out, and, like, so that, um, what you can see in this channel is, like, the event system, where basically, like, so the idea is that, like, everyone here, like, me and all of you are, uh, a group of adventurers, and so, like, you can kind of see, like, scrolling across the bottom of the screen, there's, like, there's, like, almost no one in that channel right now, because it's just, you know, there's no particular reason for people to be in that channel, but, uh, yeah, right, so there's, like, the, uh, I think this is probably, like, the, the bot himself, who's just, like, you know, like, adventuring through these, uh, locales, and, uh, right now I'm working on, like, background art, um, the, the event system is basically, like, you know, what happens, like, through these adventures, like, uh, so, like, I'm trying, I'm kind of trying to take cues from, like, text adventures and, like, tabletop role-playing games, and it's, it's, I want it specifically to have, like, that tabletop role-playing feel where, like, uh, basically, well, so, I don't have it enabled right now, but, like, I have a, on my side, I have, like, a, uh, a panel where I can control the event system, and 
so basically like i'd be acting as like the dungeon master and like um or like the the gm or dm or whatever you want to call it and uh and like so yeah the the, the event system is like um it's very open-ended it, it basically just means like the, like the core of the event system is basically like something happens and then you can take actions. There's like those those tags that you see appearing on the screen down there are the uh, the actions for the events that are occurring in this other chat channel. Um, so like you know once it's it's playing in this channel, like th those actions will actually make sense and they'll correspond to like what are the available actions in a given event. And uh, yeah, so it's like it's like it's kind of like a multi it's like it's multiplayer cooperative kind of although. There, like the, you, there's like kind of competitive elements in that like you know everybody like depending on your actions you gain more or less experience in the event so like you know if you, if you want to go competitive you can like you can like try and like gain experience faster than than everyone else but um the uh the outcomes of the events are all based on uh like the player participation like all the, the players participation so like in a, in a certain way like it's it there's like a cooperative aspect because in order to hit like for some of the events in order to like get like the like in order to to like win or in order to like succeed you have to uh you have to work together um or like coordinate on some level so uh yeah that's the game that we're working on i hadn't recapped it yet today so that was my recap of the game for today uh and yeah right now i'm just working on background art because um i mean it, they're all just like marching through this like cave with terrible half-finished art but like uh, i have a few i have a few backgrounds and i just i just i wanted it, there to be a little bit of visual variety uh in fact like most of the game systems are working except that after i'm finished with the backgrounds here i want to add more character art because right now all the adventures yeah you'll notice that like now there are more people there but um all the adventures uh just have all use the same character right um sorry one moment i'll be right back Excuse me. All right. Uh, yeah. So. Um, so. Yeah, we were just uh, we we're just making rocks. <laughs> we have been making rocks all day. <laughs> Look at all these rocks that we have to make. We have to fill up this whole thing with rocks. <laughs> I guess you can really see me scrolling because the scroll bar is underneath there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Basically. Um, it's very it's supposed to be a very light experience because like um basically i wanted something that um to do like during the stream um but i didn't i don't want it to take over the stream like the, my stream is about game dev like right now it's about making this game and then once i finish this game will be like this game will be running while i work on other projects and uh i just wanted like i don't know sometimes like i'm me personally like i have an overactive imagination so like when i'm um uh <laughs> thank you um when i'm like when i'm like working on stuff like i like r well for right now like for example like all day today like people can tell you i like i have this like i have these stars in the background right whenever anyone comments about them i respond as if i'm like literally actually in space i just like I like a level of like fantasy, just persistent. Like it just, that's just how my brain works. So like, it occurred to me like if I'm, it would be like like that's like the sort of a, uh, if I was gonna have like a little extra something like on my stream, that's like the sort of thing that I would want to have. So like now instead of just like making up stupid stories about uh, <laughs> about what life is like in space, I could act we could actually like have a persistent campaign sort of thing going on where like you know, um, just intermittently, um, you know, we could have, like, we could have, like, various events, like, hypothetically, if it was happening in space, like, we could have, like, you know, alien attacks, or, like, you know, I could just, like, I mean, I could basically just, like, use any episode of Star Trek, <laughs> just, like, <laughs> just, like, yeah, the event system is supposed to be very flexible, so I could basically, like, you know, use it to tell, uh, basically any story, uh, with it so yeah right it's not yeah it's not supposed to be like the main focus of this the stream it's supposed to be like something to do to like just as another level of interest another uh oh yeah no I'm, I'm actually in space sorry that was just an example of like if i wasn't actually in space hypothetically 
<laughs> um, hold on, I'm just going to use my um, my replicator to make some tomato juice real quick. Bleep, bloop, bloop, bleep, bloop. I just like to make the mouth movements. It, that was actually the noises were coming from the replicator. Oh, cool. Some tomato. <laughs> Man, space sure is thirsty business. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's funny. So the the game, like, I was originally going to make it for, um, you know, like, charity streams, like, where they do, like, marathons of, like, gaming. And, like, they, you know, they have, like, um, they have, like, a lot of, a lot of gaming. Like, sometimes some, some of them do, like, do speed runs and stuff like that. And, like, I don't know. I really like watching those. And I, like, the original goal of this project was to, like, make a game like make, make it was supposed to be a side quest for those marathon streams so that would give it would give people a reason to like uh you know stay tuned in and like it would help promote this promote the stream and um and uh you know people i don't know just like just like add add more interest there but then um i didn't i've not i don't know if i'm gonna actually make it like i, I don't know i don't I'm not good enough with, like, web dev to, like, really, like, I, I don't, I don't uh, it's going to take me a little while to figure out how to, like, hook this online, and so for now I'm just using it locally, but, uh, <laughs> I, um, I don't know, if people like it, I'm probably going to, um, I'm probably going to keep working on it, like, I, uh, I'm definitely going to add, like, more, uh, I can, I can add more art pretty, well, I was going to say easily, but um, the past two days have proven that art actually takes me a while to add, <laughs> to come up with <laughs> and make. But, like, you know, have, like, for an artist, it would actually be very easy to add. And, uh, so, like, character art and, like, you know, just uh, quests and events and stuff like that, so. Yeah. It's just a, uh, it's a, I don't know, when I got into streaming, this was, like, the, it occurred to me, like, hey, I want to make this, and so here I am. In the, uh, in the, uh, cave mines. <laughs> the cave mines of space. I, <laughs> somehow I always knew my life would, would end up here. <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> thank you, yeah, um. I, I hope it, I hope it turns out, like, it, cause, like, it's, I've, like, had it in my head for, like, I've been working on it for, like, a, I think a couple months now, and, uh, I can picture so clearly how cool it could be, but, um, yeah, right? <laughs> um, I really, I really hope it turns out as, uh, as I'm envisioning, cause, like, in my brain, it's, like, the greatest, but I guess that's, I mean, that's, like, I think that's kind of, like, a part of, like, a lot of game dev and a lot of creative work like to you like the idea that you're working on is always like fantastic and amazing uh and it's i mean yeah it's 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 uh so I'm, i guess um like i said i only have the uh the backgrounds and the character art stuff before like in terms of like game systems and so i don't know i feel i feel close to actually like releasing it yeah yeah um right so uh oh wait i, I don't forget is a uh, Oh no, Journeybot or Binrybot's not in the uh, channel. Hold on, I'm just gonna. Uh, yeah, I have the. Um, I have like the accessories, like or like, I have like a system where like your characters can basically get like whatever extra, like gear or like, whatever. I haven't I haven't actually made the art for it yet, but like, um, so for example, uh, uh, train. Uh, whoops. Oh. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, oh, wait, oh, no, because it, uh, ride. Ride is, uh, I'm just trying to get Binrybot in the thing, because Binrybot is, uh, Binrybot has the distinction of the only, uh, the, oh, yeah, look, so, so Binrybot is this character here. Uh, so Binrybot is using the, I'm using the, uh, the, the only the only additional like character art that I've added in so far is that like Binrybot has this like coin stuck to his forehead and uh, so yeah I have like a system where like you can you can add like accessories to the characters and I'm thinking I'm gonna swap out like character art entirely so like I don't know how it's gonna work exactly like as you level up like because you get experience and then I'm gonna have like distinct levels and then 
I'm thinking like some levels you'll get accessories and some levels you'll just get like a complete like new costume maybe because like I don't know or maybe like it'll be entirely modular maybe it'll be like everything you get is like these distinct ex these distinct accessories that like I don't know the character art system is like the last system that I have to tackle as I mentioned and uh right I don't I don't know exactly how I want to do it but I I've I, I mean I have like a lot of the uh the, the structure set up so that however I decide to do it, it should at least be fairly, uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, however, I just, however I ultimately decide to uh, implement this stuff, it hopefully will be fairly uh... uh that's, I'm, I'm just gonna jinx myself and say hopefully it'll be super easy and like so quick and clean to implement. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> no, I'll, have to, I'll just have to worry about that when we get to it. Uh, so, yeah, we have, uh, so if I ever finish this cave, then I have to work on transitions in tr into and out of the cave, which I, th I think should be not, like, outrageously difficult. Um... <laughs> yeah, if it works out, like, it wouldn't be too hard to, uh, like, the only reason I say that I, um, I've, I've basically made it the project for myself is that, here, I'm gonna, uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'm going to restart the bot, if anyone's participating right now, I'm sorry, it's gonna, it's gonna get restarted, but, um, so, like, the control panel for the... <laughs> The control panel for the game. I just restart. I just re-enabled it and restarted it. Uh, uh, this is the control panel right now, and like, I d it's not user friendly. Like, all it does, all it is right now is like it's a big text box where you can. Oops, it's a. What? How oh, did I crash it? Huh. Never seen this before. <laughs> what is this about? Is the is are the visuals still running? This was a show running, so why is it? Oh no! All right, it was just taking its sweet time, I guess. All right, whatever. Um, yeah, so uh, I just made this like silly little interface. It like has a text box. This is where you can type in the events and like, and then like they're just like there there are four different event types or five different event types, zero through four, and then like um, so like it's not. It doesn't make sense, right? So like hypothetically, anyone could use it right now. Like it'd be. <laughs> um, yeah, right. <laughs> but um I don't know, it need an instruction manual. And typically when I try when I make an interface for something, I try and make it like actually usable and actually make sense. So like I I mean that's really the only feature I'd have to add in order to in order to make it uh usable for other people. I mean like the other thing though is that like I'd really want to I really don't want to make it like a um I don't know. I kind of feel like I'd want to make it like web based. The data, at least, because like. I don't know. I haven't really, I haven't really thought that far through, but like. It'd be. It seems like it'd be kind of weird if like. Well, no, I, I don't. Yeah, no, I, I honestly don't know how I'd. Uh, how how would be the best way to set that up? I guess like. I guess you could think of, like, each real instance of the game as, like, a, you know, like, a campaign, like, in, um, excuse me, one second, um, I, maybe I should look into, like, how t tabletop role-playing games handle this, because, like, like, if you're playing, like, a, if you're playing, like, Dungeons and Dragons, and you have your character, and you go to, like, if you go, like, you have your group of friends that you play Dungeons and Dragons with, and you have, like, your campaign or whatever, but if you go to, like, if you go to, like, some other, like, Dungeons & Dragons campaign, like, do you keep your character, or do you, like, start a new character? Because, like, if characters, if there's that, I don't know, I, I almost feel like there might be, like, an expectation of persistence in, like, character, and, it, like, I wouldn't know how to really accomplish that aspect of it, and, oops, sorry, I'm just gonna reset my camera real quick, um, sorry, uh, <laughs> uh, I wouldn't really know how to handle that aspect of it, like, character persistence across, like, across, like, formats or um you know like in different contexts except by like uh by like doing web stuff because like you'd 
you'd really need that data online in order for but I haven't really thought that through so it's like all those ideas are like half formed in my mind uh, but I mean it's, yeah like I said if if, uh, if you like it it it, it could be worth looking into that stuff. So, uh, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, here we go. So, yeah, the, the, uh, yeah, all right. So I was going to make the wall here, like, such. <laughs> Hopefully this will look better in a second. Let's say clean up these lines. Uh, but, um, yeah, what, what actually, what, like, actually comes next in this, uh, in this, uh, wow, that's, no, <laughs> um, like, what, like, actually comes next here, uh, fix, <laughs> not this, uh, oops, like, what, what, what goes, I guess I, I should probably switch over to, oh, I could do, like, um, I could do like the interlocking wall pieces. Like the, huh. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean those ones are like quick and easy. Like the ones that I did, where was it? It was like this type of thing. That goes pretty fast. Although it's kind of similar to what I was doing over there. Eh, I don't know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'll do like some weird combination of, uh, of other uh. <laughs> oh yeah yeah for the like the character customization is another thing that I really don't know how to do because I um excuse me sorry yeah the character customization stuff I I'm really trying to be very very uh minimal with like chat commands and like chat commands are like really the only tool I have for interactivity so it's really what the heck Oh, whoops, I'm on the wrong layer. How did I get on the wrong layer? Weird. Anyways, uh... Oh, because I was switching I was, like, switching the visibility of layers? Anyways. Uh... Oh, yeah, how is this going to transition? Is this going to smooth out? Or, like... No, how does that work? I could just do another rock pile. <laughs> the old rock pile. Oh, yeah, with, uh, yeah, right, so, right, so, yeah, with chat commands, uh, so, I haven't figured that one out yet. Character customization is the, is the, the, the feature that I know I want to add that I don't, I haven't, I haven't figured out yet. So, like, it, when I come up with a solution for it, like, it's probably going to be the first next feature that I add, apart from the features I've described already. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh. I like, have a few ideas, I just don't, none of them are really, like, screaming, like, yes, that's the correct idea, do that one. Again, like, if I could figure out, like, if I could, if I could get the web stuff going, like, uh, that would, that would free up a lot of options. Like, if there was just, like, a control panel on my site that you could go to, to, like, edit your character or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, uh. So, yeah, what, how did I transition out of this texture last time I used this texture? It was like, oh yeah, pile of rocks, of course. Always the pile of rocks. Always the pile of rocks. Yeah, whatever, it's just going to be another pile of rocks, I suppose. I mean, I could try and smooth out the texture. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll, <laughs> excuse me, maybe I'll, um, uh, oh no, what is, uh, I um, I just moved to space last week, and so I spent all weekend unpacking my spaceship, and I completely, like I I like I knew Ludum Dare. I was aware Ludum Dare was going on, but I like actually haven't like. Uh, I like I haven't looked at people's projects. I like and the whole weekend like I was just like I was just unpacking stuff, and so i i basically missed the whole thing what um what what uh what game did you make for lunar diet you're welcome to if you um so if you try and post a link it won't show up to other people but i can repost the link i can see the link and i can repost it if you want um if you want to if you want to drop it i can share it with people 
and whatnot. Uh, oh, awesome! Yeah, that's oh, that's great because uh, I was um, no, coincidentally, uh, the game that I'm working on after this one, the next game that I'm planning on working on, it wasn't from Ludum Dare, but it was also it was also from a jam. Isn't it great how uh, I I just I'm, I really like jams because it it just triggers like a level of creativity that can lead to some really awesome stuff. So yeah, um, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> Plus, like, uh, you know, for a jam, you usually end up with, like, a good working demo. So so when people ask you about, uh, what is this game you're making? You can be like, well, actually, I have a... <laughs> actually, you can play it online right now. Uh, so it's nice. Especially for people like me who, who never even know how... I never know how to describe my own games. Like, I make them, and I'm like, ah, uh, it's like... Uh, <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, business in Tokyo. Uh, oh, here I'll res I'll we'll reshare the uh, thing. Oh my gosh, <laughs> your art is amazing. Oh man, I um I tend not to uh I tend not to uh. <laughs> <laughs> I tend not to play games on stream, but I'm, um, so I, I, you guys should be able to see. Well, oh yeah, so you're probably using better Twitch TV, right, Elite Rich? Because like, people who are using better Twitch TV can see links, despite the fact that links are technically blocked. But um, I added it to my list of uh, stuff to check out. Yeah, uh, people who are not using better Twitch TV can't see links until a moderator reposts them. Um, so... Uh, uh, yeah, thank you for sharing that. I added it to my list. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I don't tend to play games on stream, but I added it to my list of, uh, of stuff to check out. So I'll... I'll... I, the art has sold me already. <laughs> I wish I was like actually good at 2D art. Um, or just art in general, because, like... I don't know. It really... <laughs> just immediately, like, the screen loaded, and... Like, there's this business dude on a raft and I'm like yes I'm in I'm sold uh, <laughs> yeah um, I, I can uh, I'm probably gonna stream for at least another hour or so and then um, I can probably check it out after or, I mean I can definitely check it out after assuming that's when I uh, when I conclude this stream that will be the time at which I am able to check that out because I have to check out uh, I have to check it. I have, I have a few games in my queue. Actually, no. When I, you, you probably saw the list when I opened it a second ago. It's, a, it's actually a really long list of things that I should be checking out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Um, oh, I could go... I could get, like, in your face with this stuff. I could, like... Hmm. No, that's not very interesting. I was going to say I could bring this wall forward. Oh, I'm not, I'm not supposed to have big walls. I'm not, I'm just, oh, yeah, right, oof, yeah. I'm just supposed to cut away again. I'm just supposed to find another excuse to cut away. So, yeah, maybe I'll just, uh, maybe I'll just try it back down <laughs> another tunnel or something. Or actually, no, you know what I can do is I can, like, the, uh, <laughs> um, I have, uh, I, like, not, like, so, okay, so, like, this layer that I'm working on right now, it's supposed to be very, uh, like, in and, in, into and out of the camera. Like, it's about, it's supposed to be about depth, not about laterality. Later, I don't know if that's a word. Um, <laughs> it's not supposed to be very lateral. Um, and, but, no, no, but, uh, so, like, part of that is so that it, like, can reveal the layer below. But then, it doesn't have to, like, it could, oh, sorry, I don't know why I'm spending so much time describing this one. I could just be, uh, could just be drawing it out, because, like, you know, we could just have, like, winding tunnels or something, like, um, that, like, so, actually, yeah, we probably don't even have to, so, all right, so, yeah, change plans, slight change plans, this is going to be, like, more of, like, a pillar sort of thing, uh, and it's going to be, it's probably going to retain a little bit of the texture that we were just, like, having with that other stuff, but it's actually going to kind of just hook back around in the other direction, almost immediately, uh, so how's it going to do that? So like 
I'll just I'm just gonna block out the uh, the general gist of it. Yeah. So it's basically gonna like come back around in this direction really fast, and uh, and then so. So is this going to be, is this going to, no, th I think, I think this will not open up into another, so actually, yeah, so it'll, how's this going to work? Okay, so yeah, right, so it's, it's big, they're, uh, <laughs> sorry, this line means nothing, so they're big uh, strokes, but then it actually, like, kind of stops, and then, um, kind of like what I had been doing before, I'm going to, uh, it's like, well, I guess, yeah, so it'll kind of come around. Okay, yeah, no, it'll it'll make the full loop round, right? And so then it just kind of, like, goes off like that. All right. Yeah, that's just going to happen. This is the new plan. <laughs> new plan. Uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by, 2D Dev. Um, I, uh, if, um, when I get to, if you're, if you're online, when I, uh, when I get a chance to check yours out, I'll, I'll pop over, I'll pop over and, and, uh, say hey in, uh, in your stream. Because, uh, as I mentioned before, and I, I, like, I don't have to plug 2D Game Dev Stream. Anyone who follows game development on Twitch knows about 2D Game Dev Stream. And I don't have to tell you to go follow him. But, of course, he's really good. And you should, if somehow you missed. <laughs> if somehow you missed that, that he streams a lot. <laughs> Alright. Um, <laughs> so, uh, right, so we're going to, yeah, we're just going to hook this around like so and then i don't know we might do like a pile of rocks or something no this will just be like a path i guess kind of this will be just, yeah all right so more of that around here <laughs> uh actually we don't even have to waste this much space no but it's not a waste of space because we're also trying to fill space <laughs> we have plenty of space to add other stuff so all right this is good uh so yeah we have like uh of texture through here still and then uh yeah this is going to be akin to like what we have over there this is i could basically just copy and paste this and put it here which i guess leaves us with the exact same situation we started with a second ago and so then after we do this i guess we can do maybe some of those other things that i was like thinking of uh, or maybe we can just have another uh, and maybe we can just like repeat it and like have it like go back again <laughs> in the other direction immediately <laughs> or something like that i don't know uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this one, this one is going to be weird until I get it good, <laughs> and I, uh, that might, that might take a little time. Uh, alright, so, yeah, here's, like, the gist, basically. Hopefully it's starting to take a little bit of shape. Uh, I keep, I think I keep just cutting away too much. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just going insane here. What am I even doing? I guess, I mean, I'm, maybe I should just copy and paste this one. <laughs> no, um, no, I feel like I have gotten off track, so I'm gonna, now that I've blocked it out and I have it, like, the image of it, I'm gonna <laughs> start over and, and hopefully execute it a little bit better than I did just there. So, all right, so. Let's be a little bit more deliberate with the lines here. Uh, I keep, <laughs> I'm not trying to make it look zigzag. <laughs> and yet, and yet, oh man. It must have been so painful for 2D dev to, 2D game dev to, to watch me working. <laughs> Just like sitting here fuddling with, uh, with, <laughs> with these tools. He's probably just sitting there the whole time being like, go, oh, no, what are you doing? Stop, <laughs> stop, that's clearly wrong. Ah. Uh, because <laughs> um, anyone who... Like if you checked out the the link you'd notice that his art is really good. He is like an actual artist. I think I'm just getting tired or something. <laughs> like I swear the last one wasn't even this difficult. Not that it came out great, but 
Uh, all right. So. Uh, all right. I I'm gonna use I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use a slightly finer brush. Just because I need to distinguish this edge, I think. I feel like that's important, and also need to. Oh yeah, I know what else I'm doing wrong. Is uh, I'm getting way too dark, way too fast. Over here, like it's oh oh. Hmm. Yeah, I want to apply some depth here. But um, not as much as uh, I have been implying. Uh, so, for example, this should be this should all be way lighter, and then this should be I should oh, and also yeah, up through here, right? Because this is supposed to be like the relatively open mouth type area. All right. Uh, Oh, and also, yeah, the, the path is not supposed to be all blown out like that. All right, that's that's probably a little bit better. <laughs> and I should probably just, like, put... Oh, yeah, I, I don't think I've left the... No, I guess I left it unresolved here. But I'm probably just going to, as is my way, throw some rocks down right here. <laughs> um... And once again, I run out of things to say because I'm working on art and I don't have strong opinions about art. I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, sorry, one moment, please. Sorry for the delay. All right. Um, <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, bleep -ba -doop -ba <laughs> oh man, I <laughs> it's a good thing like talking is not like actually an important thing for me to do. It's like, it's a really good thing I'm not, like, a diplomat, or, like, a anyone who has to talk. <laughs> like, anyone who has to talk, ever. Because, uh, nope. Nope. That's not how <laughs> my brain works. I, um, I can talk on a very, uh, a very, uh, voluntary basis because <laughs> I, I do technically understand how to talk I do technically have speech patterns uh, but like they're not the kind that you want to bank on in any important situation alright uh, alright uh, and then oh yeah this can open up to Wait, hold on. Alright, uh, and then, yeah, this can open up to, uh, oh, <laughs> now that I've finished this one, <laughs> it occurs to me, at some point I want, like, variability of, like, a path going, like, upwards, or, like, a path going, like, I'm sorry, a path going, like, upwards or downwards, um, because these two are, say, basically on the same level, uh, Oh, you know what else I can do is, uh, oh, maybe I'll do that one next. All right, I know what I'm going to do next. And actually, I can probably do it, yeah, I can probably do it literally, now. just, like, work into it from, uh, from what we have here. Um, excuse me. Um, so, like, uh, how does this work exactly? 
I guess, uh, is it weird that we have, like, this... Is it weird that I'm leaving, like, all this, like, flooring space, like, just kind of open? Is that... I think we looked at that before, and I forget what we decided. Well, that's... That one's fine. <laughs> but, like... Alright, so I guess it's basically just this one. Yeah, is it going to look weird here? No, I think it should actually look fairly straightforward here. Hmm. I wonder if I'm doing enough with distance. I guess I should find out. I should export what I have so far and see if it makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, so I exported layer 7 recently. Let's merge... Oops, let's merge 8 and 8. <laughs> let's merge layers 8. Oh, let's also... Uh, let's also get rid of this uh, top band. Because we don't need this. Uh, oops. Oh yeah, right, it's, it's down here. So actually, let's show layer 7, and then we can get rid of... Uh, this top region, it's like just this red area, because we don't need all of this. Oops. Oh, no, no, don't. No. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, deleted. Add layer 7. And, uh, delete that. All right, so then, uh, send... Yeah, merge layers 8 and 8, temporarily, select all, copy, uh, file, open, pg1, paste, save, okay, uh, and then, oh yeah, go back and undo the merge, undo, alright. Uh, yeah, let's see, let's rerun the script now and see how that is turning out. That could be okay. So far, so good. Let's see, let's, I'm just, I'm just gonna... Sorry, I'm just watching it to see, because like most of it, like this, these parts you can see like through the, uh, you can th see through the layer, but it's all like just boring stuff that no one cares about. But like, all right, does is this gonna work out? Yeah, look at that, look at that. You're parallaxing and you're seeing down this long tunnel thing, right? Kinda, a little bit. Yeah, I think that works. I think that works fine. I just have to, yeah, all right, no, it's probably, all right, wait, let's see, let's see it, like, I need to see it do, like, the full tour, because, like, like, this is the same cave mouth, right, like, this cave mouth here is, like, the same cave mouth, and is it going to be, are you going to see, like, a weird amount of variety of things, like, <laughs> in this cave mouth? <laughs> My hunch is yes, you're going to see way too much through this cave mouth, but, um, do I care is, like, another question. Um. <laughs> I don't think it literally makes any sense. I think it's l a little bit weird. I think it's predominantly weird. <laughs> but I might predominantly not care. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. I guess, like, the thing about how, uh... I guess the thing I was getting yesterday where, like, it looked like, uh... Like, flat sheets of, uh... Like, the, um... The... <laughs> yeah. 
I think like the way the, the impression that I was getting where like the, the parallax layers look like flat sheets, like I don't know. I think I I didn't really I guess I hadn't considered like the distance. Just like the greatness of the uh No, well actually no, in my defense for my um for my original concept, like there's just supposed to be like there's supposed to be the front layer and there's just supposed to be like a uh a big open like cavernous space in the background. I ended up like steering away from that because it was way too similar to the mountains, but um yeah, I don't think I necessarily like came up with a uh like I pivoted from that and I don't think I I came up with something that I I'm probably gonna it's probably gonna be the final solution to be honest. Like I'm probably not gonna change my mind after this, but like incidentally, I think it's a little ridiculous what um what it is, like the thing that I came up with. I think it's a little bit silly. Wait, why can we see why can we see so high? Oh sorry. Um like Oh, right, right, because we're seeing through to the background. Yes, we're seeing... We're, okay, right. I was like, yeah, I, um, we're just seeing through both the layers. I thought for some, I thought there might have been something wrong with the uh, with the, uh, the middle layer, but no. Nope, just wasn't drawing there. And then disable the uh, control panel, because we don't need that. I just had it to show off. Uh, yeah. So, uh, hmm. uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just, like, waiting for some thing to, like, break my heart, basically. I mean, um, Basically, like, what, yeah, so, oh, I, what, do you, did I say basically, like, a ridiculous number of times? I feel generous. Um, so, like, essentially what the, <laughs> essentially, like, I guess just because of the nature of this parallaxing system, like, really this, this set of caves and tunnels and stuff are, um, they're just, uh, it's actually more like an underground labyrinth sort of thing. Like, because, like, we'll see, like, crossing through here like this um this viewport like with this big opening space here we'll see like there are there are passageways in the background and it'll just keep parallaxing and keep parallaxing and uh so it becomes it becomes clearly apparent like so maybe i should play up on that maybe i should play up on like there are these like there are these like tunnels and paths and everything in the background but um I should, like, play up the, uh, the spaciousness of this middle space. I feel like I've spent space a ridiculous number of times at this point. Um, sorry, one second. So, yeah, maybe just bigger shapes. Bigger, more grand, whatever's. More, like, uh, kind of like a, like a partial version of what I was describing before. Like, um... I mean, these are clearly, like, a. This, this has to be, like, a big... This has to be, like, a tunnel that, like... Hmm. Well, like I was doing before with, like, the, uh... Like, this, um... This beastly stone shape that, that looks so carved, like, that it almost couldn't be natural. Like, maybe I should just play up on that. Like, maybe I should make an abandoned mine shaft or something in the background. Like, maybe... Yeah, so maybe that's why the tunnels are interconnect interconnected because uh because uh you know this has been this area has been so thoroughly excavated. Um I think I have to do something like that because <laughs> if I don't I don't think there's like I think it's I kind of have to like I this is the system I have to work with and like I can either I can either continue making it completely senseless uh as i've been doing so far or i can uh i can like you know pivot towards something uh a little better so uh yeah i'm probably gonna go i'm probably gonna i think i'm just gonna put in like something that implies a mine shaft and then that's gonna be sufficient for me i'm just gonna i'm just gonna call that like done once we see that 
uh, yeah. <laughs> so I guess maybe a better, I don't know. Well, oh, right. Okay, so in my defense, uh, I was about to say, like, maybe a better name for this uh, background would, wouldn't would have been caves, but, like, underground tunnels. But in my defense, uh, yesterday the name of the stream was Underground Rock Tunnels. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I just uh, I just took it more to heart than I uh, than I had initially realized. The level of detail I'm putting into these uh, backgrounds is is too much. I should be I should be going more like I should be following this more like this pattern that I set for myself up front, uh, which I I kind of felt but um yeah now that i've actually seen it in action it becomes even more apparent so yeah like this is way too busy way too busy 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 so in actuality i should not be using such a thin brush because that's just thin brush just makes me get way too hey dr firefang right how's it going welcome uh right so i'm then just gonna i'm basically just gonna color this whole thing in and then just uh, and just go back and and chop up the uh, appropriate parts. Yeah, because that got out of hand. I let that get out of hand. Uh, uh, yeah, same here. And then, uh, oops, nope, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to erase. Went out here, being, again, just like, just much simpler. Because, like, it just gets way too hard to look at if I have, like, a million different lines all in, like, these same concentric shapes. It just looks like a mess. So that's better already. You could almost just leave it like that. However, I would prefer to... Oh, nice! Hey, wow! Um, what, uh... Yeah! Yeah! It's, uh... I was just saying earlier, after I, uh... After I finish this project, I'm planning on going back to Unity and C-sharp, too, so... I'll, uh... Yeah, when, when, I, when I get back to that stuff, uh... It'll be more relevant to uh, to the stuff you're working on too. Um, yeah, I uh, I don't know. This detour to Python has been interesting enough, but I'm 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 fairly ready to to get back to uh, C languages personally. I uh, I think that's like my wheelhouse basically. So, <laughs> all right, this is like kind of better for. What I was trying to accomplish, except for that part. So I will use a finer brush, but only for this part out here. Yeah, that's that's good. And actually, I'll put in like a little bit of detail here. All right, yeah, that's much better. Way less noisy, way cleaner, way better all around so like that I'm just gonna put in some like some shapes that are like more like what I uh, would want also yeah it occurred to me like I don't have to be doing the ceiling <laughs> like the ceiling's supposed to stay relatively dark uh, that came out kind of messy here let me make it more messy <laughs> No, I should not be using such a fine brush. Like I said, using fine brush just makes me want to like draw fine detail, and I should not be drawing fine detail right now. Uh, I should be drawing big, chunky detail. Uh... So this will need a second pass, because it's not like, it's not quite right. It's not bad. Eh, it doesn't need much else. 
Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to even touch it. <laughs> I'm just not going to touch it again. Because <laughs> that is close enough. That is... Uh... Alright. Well, yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't taper the darkness enough, so I'll just, like... If I do that, yeah, that's that's probably better. Uh, sorry, one second. I'm just giving me. Sorry, that was me saying, I'm just going to mute the microphone for a second because I'm about to sneeze, but I uh, didn't quite get it all out. Anyways, uh, yeah, so um, so right now I'm working in, uh, right now I'm working in, in Python, is the language, and, uh, hey, so, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> um, right now I'm working in Python, and the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the development, the IDE that I'm using is, um, uh, it's called Spider. It's, it works. I don't know. I, I used it because, uh, it was the one that I had been, uh, it, I had used, like, the, because I, I'd worked with, with Python, like, briefly, uh, before, or, like, I took, I took, like, a, uh, it was, like, six hours, like, three two-hour segments on, like, how to Python, and, uh, oops, uh, hold on, I'm fixing my camera. Um, sorry, uh, in like the how to python course they um they they uh hey redoncules <laughs> i'm alive <laughs> sorry about that um uh, <laughs> uh yeah that is, so so spider was the one that i like like first learned to use python with so i just kind of stuck with it uh, a lot of people recommend pycharm i almost like switched over to pycharm but like I don't know. There's only so much that like a, 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 a Python IDE can really do, because like, you know, this is like, I don't know. The one that I'm using is entirely sufficient. Maybe there are better ones out there. Maybe PyCharm is in fact better, but I, this one's the ones I'm working with is entirely sufficient for my purposes, and so as of yet, I've just continu continued using it. Uh, oh, actually, so, yeah, the thing that I was considering adding over here, like, the thing that I was planning on transitioning over to, is actually Mineshaft related, sort of, well, so, because, like, i had been just saying, I'd just been saying, excuse me, I'd just previously been saying, um, about, like, how I wanted, like, ups and downs and stuff, and so I was thinking, like, I could make a, a, a thing that goes in, and then immediately drops down, and, uh, mine shafts have stuff like that, all I have to do is, like, put, like, that the wood framing around it, right? And because like mine shafts uh, always have that like wood framing, I guess, to like prevent a cave in. And uh, and then I uh, and then I could put like a pulley, like a rope and pulley thing, like in it. I guess I'm kind of getting like elaborate again. And whenever I get elaborate, things start to suck. But um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I feel like I feel like I've resisted all the other ones and now um i resisted all the other like uh terrible pitfalls or the terrible <laughs> like the uh <laughs> like the uh the red hair all the other red herrings and now maybe this is the correct one or maybe this is just another red herring and i'll i'll immediately discover or like or gradually discover or however it may be that um that this is also incorrect for the project we will find out soon enough all right, so I'm probably gonna skip uh, the the rock piles and stuff. I'm probably just gonna. I just want to basically just like do a little bit here. Let me look at the uh, top layer where I did this. Basically, like uh, where is it? Like this. Just a little bit of this action, and then use that to segue into like the mine shaft. Whatever. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, it's very straightforward. Uh, I'm working on this layer. Uh, so, 
little bit of the, oops, <laughs> I didn't mean to draw that up there. Uh, a little bit of this action. Just like some cuts up and down from the bottom and the floor, and then, uh, and then, actually I should, I should look up reference images of, uh, like mine shafts. Just like, because I know there's a purpose for that, like, wood framing that goes in. I'm pretty sure it's to prevent cave-ins and stuff like that. Um, and I should just uh, make sure I'm, I'm drawing it in a way that actually makes sense. Because if I draw it in a way that's, like, not structurally sound and would not prevent a cave-in, then, like, that would be silly. I'm not, like, super hung up on, like, continuity and, like, the, the accuracy of, like, whatever, whatever. But, uh... I don't know. I do like to get the broad strokes at least correct. That looks lame. Or, I don't know. Whatever. That looks like whatever. <laughs> it looks like sufficiently whatever. Uh, Alright, so mine, mine shaft images. So like this wood stuff. I don't want this to look like nice and new. I want this to look more old and like stuff. So, oh that's not wood. That's metal. But, uh, okay. Uh, alright, so, oh, uh, maybe it's not, maybe it wasn't to prevent a cave in, maybe it was just like, literally, maybe it was just there as part of the infrastructure of the mine itself. I guess? I don't know. Uh,. Yeah, I guess, like, this is probably closest to like what I was picturing. Is that even... I don't know, just like wood framing that's like in with the, uh, like basically like like flush against the the rock surfaces. It's kind of what I was picturing. Uh, so... What is this? Yeah, stuff like this. Alright, well this should be... Fine. Yeah, I can, I can... I think that should be enough. Alright, so... Why does it say my name up in this corner? Oh, interesting. <laughs> Chrome apparently just does that. Okay, um... So, uh, yeah, right, so... So, I kind of want to, again, like, I kind of want to, like, uh... Imply the, uh... The uh, like the the like site curvature, basically of the uh, of the cave, a little bit not not too much, uh, and then uh, and then basically just put the wood framing inside that. So Actually, that's too much. And then, alright, so wood framing, I guess? I don't know how I'm going to depict this. I guess... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, whatever. That's kind of tall. How tall are adventures? Alright, no, that's not too tall. Although it is supposed to be set further back, so so it kind of is really tall. And also, it's not supposed to... I mean, yeah, these... like this whole thing... Right, alright, so that's a little, probably a little too wide. Because it's not... it's only supposed to be like... <coughs> this tall, really. So that might be a little low. Alright, uh... I should... Just for like sense of space, I'm going to put a rock here. Just so you know, like where the ground level is. Uh, <laughs> right. uh, 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 uh. So, I don't know. 
much like this, I guess. And then, uh... Uh, alright, and so then what does, uh, it's like, the part, uh, so I'm picturing, like, with the mine shafts where, like, the part where it just goes, like, in, and then suddenly downwards, and there's, like, a pulley system. Hey. Uh, I wonder that too sometimes, Dr. Fire Penguins. I wonder that too sometimes. I actually already made the game. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, actually, the game is done already. Uh, this is literally just the visual accompaniment. Uh, yeah, right, so... It's like this pulley system, right? So it's supposed to be... Huh. I guess it's supposed to be like one of these things. Where, like, you know, you're in the cave, and you're looking at this structure, and there's... Oh, so maybe it's like a vertical shaft. So... I guess I need the floor to drop off is one important thing. Uh, so, I guess some distance in, like the floor just kind of like ends, and then, uh, and then what is the, I guess, I don't know, this would be really dark, right? So like, I mean, especially this wall, right? This, this wall should be like, just very dark. This whole, th this whole thing should just be very dark, I guess. Blender. Not well. I, no, I, I've worked with Blender before, but I tried to use it recently, and, like, apparently they changed everything since I learned how to use it, because it was not, like, it was not similar to how I, uh, how I learned how to use Blender. Alright, so this is probably the latest of things that just doesn't make sense for me to do, for me to pursue, because I'm not going to do it justice. I'm not going to do a good job of this, so I probably shouldn't do a job of it at all. Maybe? It's like what, what I'm thinking at this point. Uh, in the proud tradition of... Uh, ideas that I thought would be good for this particular scene. I think I must now admit that, nah. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, um, I think there's a good amount of tutorials online. Like, whenever I use, uh, whenever I would use Blender, I, um, I basically just, like, look up how to how to do what I'm trying to do and uh, and accomplish things that way, because uh, yeah, if I recall correctly, there's like a there's actually a, a fair amount of uh, of information that you can find out about how to use it that way. So if you'll be using it in the uh, in the near future, which it sounds like you might, or at least be working with people who do use it, uh, that I don't think that was English. I think that was a really bad sentence, but whatever. Um, this wood, I don't know why it's just like flat, solid colored. I think it should be textured, but I also don't know how to texture it correctly, so I should probably just leave it, leave it as is. <laughs> is this wood textured? <laughs> I don't know. What is a wood texture? Now this is too fine detail. Even if this was a good wood texture, which it's not. Uh, I, uh, I don't want to... Again, I'm using like a really narrow brush and I don't want to make detail this fine. So I should just, uh, not be doing this as such. Hmm. Hmm. Is, is this redeemable at all? 
Maybe. I don't know. Back when the wood texture, or back when the wood was not textured, would that have been better? Maybe this is ambiguously like wood or metal. Because like some of those frames were made out of metal, right? So maybe this is just the metal kind. Uh, <laughs> it just kind of looks like a door for no particular reason. Like it doesn't look right, really. Again, I should stop working with such a fine brush because fine brush just makes me want to do fine detail. And it always will. Forever. Forever. Yeah, I don't think this looks like a mine shaft. Oh, I could, I could just, uh, I, mean, I could do the obvious thing. I could, I could make, like, the, uh, I could make the, uh, the, the tracks <laughs> going through. If I actually expect, expected this to be a mine. Uh, if I honestly expect this to be like a mine thing, it would kind of need these, uh, kind of need these tracks. I'm pretty sure that's how they got the carts around. Is this too fine detail though? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I kind of don't want it to like just go yeah no it can't go it can't go too far forwards it has to maybe this will just hook around and go loon loop into one of those other uh into one of those other tunnels or something <laughs> uh either way i don't want the tracks to look like that the tracks kind of have to Tracks kind of have to <laughs> You should write slogans. They should hire you for advertising. Because that that's gold right there. Oh maybe I should take this rock out. Maybe I should use the, the tracks instead for for perspective here. Probably. Uh, yeah, and then I can, like, scooch them up a bit, too. Because, like, yeah, they weren't really supposed to go that low, anyways. So, yeah, this is better. At least for the sake of the tracks. Uh, uh, now they can go like, yay! Sorry, I'm listening to music. It's gonna just go like, yay! Whoops! Ah! No tablet! Don't fail me now! <laughs> Maybe I should, uh, not freehand these. Maybe I should use, like, the straight line tool or something. Because, uh, sorry, one second. I'm just going to turn off the mic. Uh, sorry. I was like trying to turn off the microphone before I sneezed, but I did that thing where I left my tablet. I left my stylus on the tablet, so it was locking my, my cursor into position. <sighs> Don't worry, I made it. I survived. Alright, I think I should probably get rid of this rock too, because it's kind of in the way. So... I think, uh, I don't know, the tracks are like too high. They're like
straight to, I don't know. It's going to take me a while to get these right, I think. Uh, yeah, it's a little better, maybe. Uh, and then this isn't quite right either. That might be good enough. Oops. Hey, Shrevzy! Thank you! Uh, yeah, I think this art is sick because I've been sneezing all day. I think that's how the art got sick. <laughs> Uh, um, no, but thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate the encouragement because I'm not very encouraging myself. I tend to, I don't know. I have a difficult, I've, I'm, I'm struggling with this art a little bit, but, uh, it's, it's so that it's nice to know. So appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, thank you for tuning in. It's good to see you. Uh, I, uh, yeah, you can you can kind of see like the in progress version like scrolling along the bottom of the screen. Basically, it occurred to me that like I kind of need, well, I don't really like need need, but I I kind of should put in a um, mine. Like uh, so yeah, so my original concept. Well, no, not even my original concept. Today's original concept for the uh, for this mine was uh, was uh. I should be zoomed in further. <laughs> was um, supposed to be more narrow, more like, more like winding, uh, wind, uh, tunnels, uh, and paths like through, like an interconnected like maze, like of 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 caves, but um, yeah, the thing that that became re really quickly apparent to me was that, um, the, uh, the, uh, what was it, like, the, um, oh, yeah, the, 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 the rate of parallaxing, like, the distance between the parallax layers, uh, gave a very different impression, and, because I, like, for a moment, like, it flipped through my mind, like, maybe I should change the system to accommodate this particular case, but then I was like, no, <laughs> no, I cannot do that, uh, so, so I'm making a, so, yeah, so instead of being, like, like, tight, like, I, so, essentially, I can't really make these, like, tight, narrow, I can't just make these, like, tight, narrow corridors, um, so I have to kind of, uh, I have to, I, have to, I need a reason for the, uh, <clears throat> well, so this, because the corridors will, by, nece by necessity, uh, uh, I don't know why I'm spending so long on this, I don't even know how much of this will ever be visible, but whatever, uh, because of, like, how much of the, the caverns will be, like, carved out, it, is, it occurred to me, like, well, maybe they were, like, literally carved out, maybe they were literally, like, mined out. And so I'm adding in, like, I'm trying to add in, like, a slight semblance of, like, mining infrastructure. So this is, like, this is going to be, like, tracks for the minecart, I guess. And then maybe I'm probably just going to, like, decide, no, that looks dumb, and then erase all of it, maybe. I don't know. It could happen. I'm not certain that it won't happen. Uh, it's happened with a lot of the things that I've done for this uh, particular background. I don't know why, this one's taking me forever. Every time I get like a little bit closer to finishing this game, like there's been like this time dilation effect where like, as I get closer to the end of the project, every new feature takes like a million years longer than the previous feature. <laughs> and uh, and so I will actually never finish it. Or, I don't know. Uh, 
Uh, anyways. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> what a terrible teacher. That is like, that doesn't, you don't learn anything from that. The only thing you learn from that is like, what a jerk your teacher is. That's a... Uh, <laughs> Do you have your teacher's contact information? Because I want to send her a nasty letter. She's probably... He or she is hopefully retired. And, like, not harming children any longer. But that's, like... I don't know. That's awful. Like... I don't know. I thought art teachers were supposed to be cool. I they're supposed to be relaxed. They're supposed to, like... Sp spend their time, um... Getting, like, stoned up behind the bleachers. <laughs> Pardon the phrase. Um, I guess that one, uh... I guess the one... You, unfortunately, got stuck with one with a little more attitude than that. Maybe they were, like, a complete failure themselves. Maybe, like... Maybe, like, they wanted to be an artist, but they, like... They failed at it so miserably that, like... Instead, they spent their time being, like, horrible towards aspiring artists because they envied, the, they envied the youth of, like, the youth that they will never have, the youth that they wasted being a terrible artist and a terrible person. I don't have... I, oh, gosh. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> I really just don't know what I'm doing right now. I mean, I, I, I know roughly what I'm doing right now. I know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I just don't know how it's going to turn out. I keep wanting to make I, I keep wanting to make a fan effect, but I, I really can't do that because the way this these parallax strips work is that they they stretch really far. They're like panoramic, so like I can't like they're not panoramic. No, like panoramic implies like some sort of rotation value. It's like, if you took a panorama by, like, driving your car down the street, and, like, I don't know, I guess you technically could do that, right? You can come up with, like, a panorama in that manner, but, like, I don't think that's the, most people, I think, I think most panoramas are, like, around a point of rotation, and this is not a, around a point of rotation, which is why I can't do that, that fanning effect, despite the fact that I keep wanting to. And why do you, why do I keep... I keep extending these lines above the thing, and then I don't... They're not, like, resolving in any way. Why do I keep doing that? I don't think those lines should extend that high. No, they definitely shouldn't. I can just go back and delete them. Or whatever. I don't feel like redrawing these shapes again. How big are people? I forget how big people are. Alright, so this is reasonable enough. Alright, now these are t turning because of the rotation of the tracks. Not because I'm messing up again. I mean, this whole thing is pretty screwed up. <laughs> but only in the expected way. Alright, now that can become visible again. Oops. Mmm. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. Is this supposed to... Oh, man. What am I doing? Alright, yeah, this is the part where it has to, like, kind of... Yeah, it goes off more like an angle, so it's, like... It's less about, like, each individual piece. It's more about, like... Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> Alright. I said I was going to erase these, I guess. Wait, did I raise them too high? Yeah, I did. Why did I get rid of them up there? <laughs> They're supposed to be up there. Yes. Hey, Tresox! How's it going? Welcome! <laughs> yeah, what is it? Like, 12.07 there? Uh, 
I, uh... Yeah, things are going well. It is day two of caves. Uh, of course, I started from scratch today, hence the, uh... Did you know that uh, groundhogs and woodchucks are the same thing, apparently? I never knew what a woodchuck was. Then again, I only have, like, a very loose idea of what a groundhog is. But, uh... Yeah, I was like, I was like, I don't know, today for me is basically Groundhog's Day. And so, uh, I, I was looking, I just, I was, I just happened to check out their Wikipedia article and, uh, oops, that was not intended. And, uh, uh, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> Oh, um, sorry, I'm not enunciating very well. Um, here, I'll type it out. Uh, how much would, 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 would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood is a popular, uh, whoops, I sp <laughs> Oops, that's supposed to be wood chuck. Not wood shuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, wood shuck. Uh, whistle pig? Is that one? Oh, okay. All right, so, yeah. Um, is I forget what the name of my broadcast is today, but it's uh, it's apparently the other names for groundhogs. Because today's Groundhog Day, and we're, we're uh, underground, so it seems vaguely appropriate. Uh, alright, so, that's not as offensive as I expected it to be. <laughs> I expected to hate that a lot more. Uh, but I think I'm just gonna, like, leave it in and then forget it exists. Although, I think, uh, I think I should change, like, the slight shape of this, uh, cave in order to better accommodate the uh, direction of the tracks. Like it, it looked like a little bit like it was getting cut off. So I should probably just, uh, just widen this a little bit. That's all. Oh. Should I put those beams in here too? Maybe. I might want to indicate that like the same sort of like structure -y whatever's going on over here, going over there as well, possibly. Uh. <laughs> Thank you, Dry Socks. <laughs> I am, um, at this point, I'm, I'm like, I'm aiming for the, the very high bar of, like, done, like, when I, oh, sorry, I messed up my background, and now I have to do that in order to fix it. For some reason, for some reason, going like this fixes my background, although it makes like the camera blow out for a second. Anyways, uh, yeah, look, no, I, uh, um, I have the, anyways, uh, alright, so, yeah, I've been working on this for so long that I'm just like, I wish this were done. Like my goal in life is for this to be done. Um, so uh, that's cool. I guess if it looks good, then that's a, that's a bonus. That's a nice. Uh, it's certainly better. Than, uh, <laughs> <laughs> then uh the alternative so thank you I, um i'm glad you like it i uh yeah do i want to add in this like structure stuff maybe well so my th my thought of like maybe why i would want to add that is because if i added it then i could add in like um i could add in like uh uh, what am I looking for? Wider pen brush thingy. I could add in, like, a beam, like, here, too. Right? Like, one that just, like, comes right in front of the camera. Kinda. I don't know. I might try it. I'll try it with this, and then I'll export it, and see how that looks, and then I can undo it. Actually, I'll save before I do this. And that way I can try it out, see how I like it, and then possibly get rid of it. 
So just like a nice vertical beam there. And like I might want to do multiple. Eh. Nah, I, I think like the next one I do will probably be... Well, I could, oh, I could do like... I don't know, I could do like... I could try and like do perspective on one. And like, uh, like have it extend off the top of the visible range and then back in the visible range. And then, uh, and then drop it down over here. I don't know, whatever. I'm just trying this. I can always, if I decide I don't like some or all of it, then I can just get rid of it. Uh, excuse me, one moment. So, all right, uh, so let's try smooshing these layers together. Uh, selecting all, copy, uh, layer one, paste, save, and now let's try restarting the script to see how that looks. Because it could just be that like it completely doesn't read, or it just looks ridiculous. Um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is the this is the uh, this is the same um, Twitch game project thingy that we're working on. So um, the, I made the game like the game is is done basically, except for the art. So uh, so yeah, now I'm just going through and I'm uh, I'm adding I'm adding in some more uh, some more backgrounds because like so this is the the mine. There's also the mountains and the forest, and so I just wanted a little bit of variety in that regard, and then. Um, and then once I finish the backgrounds, I'm going to add in some more character art. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to add in some more character art, and then, um, and then, uh, that, that, then it'll be ready for prime time, I think. I mean, there's still a lot of features that I'd, I would like to add, but, like, in terms of the features that I, I plan to add for the initial usage period, like, the, not the release, like the launch, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's come. It's uh, it's gone through a lot of changes. So, uh, hopefully, most of the changes are for the better. And uh, and uh, it still it still has a little ways to go. And then, like, I don't know. Like we were talking about it before. And uh, like, if um. If, like, it really catches on, like, if people really like it, like, I can, of course, like, keep adding stuff to it. Like, I can add more backgrounds, and I can add more, um, more character art, and, like, of course, it's, like, a, it's an ongoing quest, so, um, so, uh, of course, like, the story can go on as long as I come up with stories for it. Uh, I'm, so the game runs at two frames per second, and, like, I don't expect to ever have it run faster than that. <laughs> um, mostly because, like, the the character animations. Like, um, well, yeah, because, like, if I want to give... Uh, if I want to give the characters, like, greaves or, like, any sort of, like, change in, in leg wear or, like, boots or anything, in order to, in order to give the... to, like, add those to a character you have to, like, for, okay, so, like, for something like a shield or, like, a, a scepter or something, like, you know, those you can just, like, plug into the character's hands, and, like, no matter how many frames of animation there are, like, they just hold them in their hands, and, like, you just map them to the hands, and that's fine. But if you want to give the characters, like, new greaves or, like, new boots, or, like, just give them, like, a robe or something, like, a flowing robe that, like, covers their legs, you have to draw that for every frame of animation. And so... Right now I have two frames of animation, and so every time I need to, if, every time I want to add in a new, uh, something of that of of that nature, then I only have to draw it twice. But if I added in like four frames of animation, then for everything I need to add in, suddenly that doubles the the art budget for all of my art of that ilk. So maybe. I mean, there's no reason I couldn't add it in down the line, but I don't have any plans for it now because 